Hey guys, Tracy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a capture page that you've already created or that you're using, whether it's your own or an affiliate capture page, and how you can turn that into a landing tab on Facebook. And we like this because we do a lot of Facebook PPC, so you know we drive a lot of traffic to to our fan page. And when we first started off, we were kind of just aimlessly driving traffic to our timeline, which really doesn't have much of a benefit except maybe getting some likes. But in this case, when you create a capture page as a landing tab, then you're able to actually pretty much get the potential for double leads. And what I mean by that is when someone lands on this page, you can see there's still in Facebook, they're still on your fan page, but they're seeing a capture page just as they would on a separate website. And so when they come here, they can decide, you know, oh, this looks, you know, this looks like something I'm interested in, and they can fill, it, fill in their info and opt in, and boom, they're on your list. But for some reason, you know, someone's not really feeling what you're offering, or it's just something they're not interested in at the time, then they can still go ahead and like your page which is awesome because you know Facebook fans are super valuable. It's just another way of creating a list. It's people you can build relationships with, you can share value with, get feedback from. And so this method just is just great. You, you can have backup leads coming through your fan page. And so to do this, I'm gonna show you a way that you can literally just take a URL of a capture page that is already coded to you Here's one. Here's the one that that I was just showing you. And I'm going to show you how I install it. But basically, this is one of our websites, one of our capture pages. So when they fill this in, this is already coded to our email list. So you, it's really important if you use this technique, you have to make sure that whatever page you're using is already coded to you. Because in this example, I'm not going in and showing you HTML coding and how to change all that. This is simply to take a capture page that's already for you for your business and install that onto your Facebook fan page. And so let's go ahead and start that. The first thing that you need to do is download an HTML app and you just go up to the search bar, type in HTML, search, then we're going to go down and click apps. And honestly, we, we are loving this first one. It's really easy to use and I think you can have up to 10 tabs so you can ultimately have 10 capture pages on your one fan page which is great for split testing or if you're in you know multiple opportunities and you want to be able to drive traffic to each of those things individually whatever your situation you can have up to 10 10 landing tabs for this so that's super awesome um, so what you're going to do is go ahead and click go to app and it will start the install process. It's step by step. They walk you through everything. So once you do that, we're going to go back to ours because we already have it installed. And this right here is using that app that I just showed you. So we're going to click on that. Oh, and before I go, actually before I go into that, when you install it, you should see it in one of these boxes down here. It will look something like this. If for some reason you don't see it here, just go ahead and click the plus sign on one of these other boxes and you should see the app down here. So you're just going to go ahead and click it, whichever one it is, and it will pull it up in one of these boxes. And so once you have it in one of these boxes, you're just going to click on that box and it will actually bring you to the settings tab directly. But since I've already created one, I'm just going to go ahead and click settings. And this is what your settings will look like if you, you know, when you're about to create it. But I have to go down and create a, another one since I already have one. And when you create your second one, it's just going to tell you you already have it installed. So just click OK. And I this will be my third one. So I'm going to click Install Page, Tab 3. And here is where you're choosing which fan page you want it to 
go to. If you have multiple fan pages, just be sure that you choose the right one. For this Facebook, we only have this fan page, so we're going to choose that. And you can only use this for fan pages. So if you only have a personal Facebook page right now, really think about you know getting a fan page set up because that is going to be a huge marketing asset for you. And it's the only way that you can really install all these extra fun tabs that will really get your business going. So when we click install, it's just going to ask, ask you to authorize it. And on this part, I normally just, it's just saying that they're going to access your basic info and that's just so they can install it on your page. And I just changed this privacy setting to only me because people really, I don't think they're interested in seeing every little change that happens with this app. So and then I just click go to app. And what it's going to do is pull up the settings like we saw earlier. And I always like to change it to the 8 by the 810 pixel wide mode. I think it works really well for capture pages and full website size pages. And here you can change the tab image, which is what you see when someone's on your page, what they're going to click on. I'm actually going to get into that into in another video because it's its own process and it's a little more time consuming. But for now, we're just going to leave that part out. It's not too big of a deal because you can still drive traffic to the capture page without it. Now, as you can see, it says page source. Here's where you can choose between a URL, redirect, image, or HTML coding. This is what I think is super cool because most cases you can only put in the HTML code here, but with this particular um, app, you can actually click page source URL, and now we're going to go back to that capture page we're going to be using. And remember, this is a capture page that we created that is coded to us, and so anyone that opts in is going to be put on our list. Make sure that you don't just go take a capture page from someone else because you're going to be sending them all of your leads. You have to make sure it's one of your um, capture pages. And so here we are back on the app and we're just going to simply paste in that URL. And I always hit hide scroll bars because ultimately we want it to fit. We want the um, capture page to fit on the page. We don't really want people scrolling. So we'll see how that looks in one minute. I leave all these settings alone. I don't put up friend gates or anything. I literally, you know, people are going to like the page or they're not, you know, so I don't really, I, I tend to get a high rate of people liking the page anyway, so I don't really see the need for those features for this particular purpose. And then down here, we're just going to put in a tab name. For this one, I'm just going to put sample since I'm not going to be keeping it. It's just temporarily for this tutorial. And then you just go ahead and click Save Settings. And it's going to do its thing. And now it's basically just asking you again to grant permission. That's saying it's going to be creating the tab. We're going to allow it. And then it brings you back to the settings. And so if you want to actually view the tab, you're just going to go over here and click View. And there you go. What you see right here, this is just what you see, the admin tab options. You, when people land on this, they will not see that. All they're going to see is your page. So, I mean, how easy was that? This is the original capture page. And now we have it on our Facebook fan page. And so if you run PPC, um, this is where you want to drive people they're going to be able to opt in, they're going to be able to like your page, and it's just it's just a great way to oh, it's just a great way to um, capture leads through your Facebook page. And so I hope this was a useful tutorial for you. If you liked it, please like below or comment or you know share some strategies that you use. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.